Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I have a video that is a long awaited one. I don't know by how many people, but I know I've been waiting to find the right time to do this video. And it is the top 13 spring fragrances that I own, plus a Coach Men's Fragrant Eau de Toilette which is standing right in front of you. And I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and give you my first impressions. All right, so here we go. I hope you like this video, guys. Um, as you can see, it's a raining. I'm gonna open this up right in front of you. Here it is, Coach for Men, and it's an eau de toilette. Um, it's been raining all day and there is no electricity. So hopefully this video won't be too dark. And I'm in my daughter's room. She has a beautiful outside view and a beautiful little window there. So here it is. This is an honorable mention and this is a coach lip perfume I got at the warehouse. Look at the beautiful bottle. It's very distinctive with a gradient color light in the bottom and darker as it goes on. And I'm gonna spray it on my little tester paper I have over here, right here. And I'll tell you what it's like. Um, the only thing is that this, I don't even know how it sprays. Um, it turns sideways. Oh, here we go. The whole thing is a cap. Do you see it there? All right. Ooh, it's a lovely. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, it's very fresh. At the same time, it's got some lavender. Like a lot of the men's colognes have lavender. Um, woodsy. Mm. It's very yummy, guys. I love it. So, anyway, I got this one. I didn't have a purpose for it. I just really thought that. Um, I might give it away to someone. I have two brothers and my husband, um, but I might just keep it for myself. Um, like I said, it's an eau de toilette and this is an honorable mention and I did that first. All right, so usually when I present um, perfumes to you and I do my videos, I have little notes because I don't just want to speak out of my memory since I forget a lot of stuff. Um, but, um, this time it's going to be different, okay, because uh, I lost my little book where I have all my perfume notes. And um, that's okay because we can go on my nose, which sometimes is to be trusted. Um, <laughs> no, I can trust my nose pretty much. I'm very sensitive to um, notes. So this is the first one I'm going to start with, and this is Juicy Couture Bye Bye Blues. And today is a rainy day, so we want to say bye-bye to the blues. We don't want to be sad or have seasonal sadness, which sometimes I tend to have. These Juicy Couture bottles are just beautiful, don't you guys think? Um, Okay, I'm going to spray this. Oh, this is the same one. <laughs> I want to use the same one. Um, usually when I go to Victoria's Secret or Bath and Body Works, I grab myself a lot of these little test strips. Oh, I love this one. It's so fruity. It's sweet. Yeah, it smells like a candy. With just a tad lemony. Not that lemony, just a tad. So, yes, this is one of the wonderful spring perfumes that I recommend for wearing and using during springtime. All right, next one here is a $5 cutie from the Five and Below store. I've been using up a little bit of it since I love the sherry smell. And you guys, this is just pure wonder. I'm not going to use a tester and put it on my wrist. I love it. I love the cherry smell in the summertime. And let me tell you why. I grew up in a place that... um during this time of the year has a lot of cherry blossoms. Uh, people plant cherry trees in their front yard, in their backyard. And this reminds me of the place I grew up. And that place is called Oakdale, California. Um, and it's by Modesto, California. And um, there's a lot of harvesting over there and there's a lot of fruit trees. Um, they have wonderful soil. Um, that is, if it's not being crowded by new housing, um, 
anyhow, every springtime, I eat a lot of cherries. And I love cherries. I love their smell. I used to love to sit under the cherry trees in the springtime when I used to live over there in Northern California. Um, in, in Southern California, where I live now, there's you don't see a lot of cherry trees. And so I want to use up my cherry perfumes. And for me, this is a very good cherry perfume for the springtime. And the bottle is just so cute, isn't it? All right, so the next bottle I have here is Encanto Bloom by Salvatore Ferragamo. And you guys, this is just pure wonder. It's um, very light and airy. It's um, like, just like it says, it has blooms. Oh, this is so beautiful, you guys. I think the first note of this is, um, as I was reading the notes, is Cassie's. So it's a little spicy. Um, I haven't used it much, but I'm willing to give it some love this springtime. And yeah, it's just like the name sounds. It's got blooms of white flowers, and I think it has cassis. So this is a wonderful one for springtime by Salvatore Fragamo. Uh, the next one I will talk about is this beautiful honey by Marc Jacobs. I have two of these bottles. And um, they don't make the bottle like this anymore. This one was gifted to me by my friend Marina Sanchez. And I want to give her a shout out. She's a wonderful person. We've been friends for a very long time. She gifted this to me. Um, and I love this. I don't even feel like using it up. Uh, I've seen it be released in the market. Uh, but the new bottle doesn't have this. It only looks like that. The new bottle looks like that. Um, so this is a wonderful springtime fragrance and it is by the house of Marc Jacobs and this has honey, it has honeysuckle, it can be described as floral, um, I forgot what other notes it has, it's really hard to explain, um, the fragrance on this, but let me tell you when I, the few times I've worn this, it lasts a long time, it'll last you all day ladies. You cannot go wrong with Marc Jacobs Honey. Um, I feel like this old bottle, um, I feel like this fragrance is um, a little bit stronger and less longer than the new the new one that they just came out with. I feel like um, something changed, although I haven't read anything about it changing, but the formula definitely is different. Um, like I said, this one is stronger, and I'm not sure if this was a tester because um, this, this cap belongs to my new bottle. Um, so I'm not sure if this is such an old fragrance that it is a test, it is, um, a tester. I'm not sure if my juice in my bottle has changed or not, but, um, it's a wonderful honeysuckle and honey fragrance. I love it. It's very sweet and floral. So that is an excellent one for springtime. The next perfume I have here is a little 50 ml of Escada Flor del Sol. And I got this at Ross, I think. Um, I love this. Flor del Sol. Um, I don't know. Um, like I said, um, there's no power here. I didn't get to research this video. But it's okay. I'm just speaking out of my memory. But Flor del Sol, in the box, it has cactus flowers. And... Um, I've never smelled a cactus flower. I've seen them. They look beautiful. They're bright. <coughs> Excuse me. We get a lot of them here in, San in where we live. A lot of cactus flowers. This is very sweet. It smells sweet and fruity. And I always love how elegant their automizers are. There's a little bit of splash of red in there. Um, so you can't go wrong with Escada wearing it as a casual perfume to go to work. Um, or just you know, running around doing things in town. Um, this is wonderful. It is fresh and sweet. So that's Escada, Flor del Sol, and that's a wonderful one for springtime. Another spring thing that I use a lot, and I use this to do combinations, is Jovan White Musk. You guys, I love this white musk. It's not strong. It's not like, you know how some musky scents are very strong, which I don't mind them, but some people don't like really strong musk. 
this is a light airy musk so um not very expensive and i recommend you guys getting this jovan white musk um you can find it anywhere it's a nice cheapy and it's a wonderful for, for combinations to make your perfume last longer or just to wear it by itself after you shower it's wonderful and there's a little dance so yeah i love this jovan white musk the next perfume I have here is this Michael Kors Glam Jasmine. And you guys, I am a floral person. I love jasmine. And um, this, oh my God, it's so beautiful. This does not disappoint. That bottle does not disappoint. Um, it's just a little 30 mil I got probably at Marshalls or Ross at a really good price. It's my only Michael Kors perfume I have. And this will be in my life forever. And this is a beautiful spring jasmine, very linear white flower type of perfume. It doesn't have top, middle, or base notes. It's just a linear. It just has three notes and two are flowers. And so, hey, get this one if you see it at a discount. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. And I love it. I love wearing that one. All right, the next perfume I will talk about is this um, Love Kills Slowly. Life, Love, Live. What is wrong with me? Life, Love, and Luck by Ed Hardy. And look, beautiful bottle. And it's like this. And look how much I have used. I love this floral. Um, this has floral notes, like I said. Um, I don't remember all the notes. But, oh wow, you guys, this is a beautiful spring perfume. It kind of reminds me of um, Flower by Kenzo. Um, I'm not sure if it's a dupe, but it smells very close to Flower by Kenzo. So yes, so this is Ed Harley, Love Kills Slowly. Love Kills Slowly, wonderful spring perfume. The next one I have, which I talked about this one before, and this is Air by Eternity, Calvin Klein. Um, this is a flanker of Eternity, and this is a wonderful light and airy perfume, and I love it. I don't remember the notes in it, but I want to give it some love this springtime, and I'm probably going to be using it for the summer also. Next perfume I have here was gifted to me by my daughter, and this is Tommy Girl. This is a wonderful, um, citrusy, freshy, and I love it. It lasts a long time, and I have been wearing it. I have a little dent going on there since my daughter gave it to me. I think it was um, my birthday. It was either my birthday or Christmas. So this is my birthday in January, so I get confused about, you know, the type of when I get the presents, Christmas or birthday. But anyhow, um, I love Tommy Girl and I wear it a lot. And I'm going to be giving it some more love during the summer and during the springtime. But for the springtime, that's a wonderful perfume. And the next one I will talk about is Daisy by Marc Jacob. And this is Daisy Skies. So this is a flanker. Um, I just realized I have two Marc Jacob perfumes here. Um, this is just a little 50 ml. And I love it. It's got the DNA of the original Daisy, which I love. And my husband loves it too. I don't know why, but men love this. Men love these Daisy uh, Mar Jacob perfumes. Uh, my husband loves it. He loves to hug me when I'm wearing this. Actually, he loves to hug me whenever, even if I don't smell like my Jacobs. <laughs> um, this tray is kind of small, guys. Okay. I got two more to go. Uh, so the next one I got here is a Rosa Botanica. I got a little dent going there. And this is a wonderful rose um, smell. Balenciaga hasn't been doing good when it comes to PR. They've been doing really bad stuff. And so I don't promote them. Um, I bought this at the warehouse. And it, it's a tester. Um, I have a box for it that's just like a cardboard box. Um, I can't afford to buy this like from the mall because these are very expensive perfumes, but this is a wonderful green, freshy, airy, um, rose, floral, like wildflower type of perfume. And I want to use it up. I want to use some of it because I don't want it to go bad. The juice is already kind of looking kind of yellowish. Um, 
but just look at the bottle it's wonderful let me smell it so i can get more impressions on it and i'm gonna go ahead and spray it over here oh my god you guys i think i used the the coach paper thing that smelled like coach okay yeah it smells green it smells like a green like a green note like if I am so stressed out, running around town, doing a bunch of stuff, and I'm thinking of going to Starbucks, but I don't know if I should because I'm too tired to be waiting in line. And I can't breathe because of all the issues I had at work. And I just want to spray this. And it smells like flowers and green, like right after it rains. That's when I want to use this, okay? So yeah, this is wonderful. I want to use it definitely want to use that so the last perfume i got here to recommend for you to use the springtime is this ck into you you guys forget light blue okay forget light blue now i bought a light blue not too long ago at a really good price and i thought yay i finally have dolce gabbana light blue um i did wear it i did enjoy it for the minute it lasted but you guys, this is a lemony bombshell. Look at the juice. Just look how beautiful it is. This is a wonderful springtime uh, perfume. And um, I don't have my glasses. You guys, I'm such a mess. I don't even have my glasses on. I hope it is a perfume and not an eau de toilette. I'm going to spray this. Oh, wow. Oh, this is this will lift you up. This will lift up your mood. Um my tray is so small here i didn't realize some of my perfumes weren't going to be fitting here okay i'm gonna talk about this because it's wonderful so it's a type of it's a type of lemony note that you you just feel like i just got a burst of energy you know um all of these perfumes are, and I'm kind of thinking that this is going to be one of my favorite, favorite, favorite freshies. Besides Tommy Girl, which also works, works very hard at keeping you energized, at keeping you with that citric type of fragrance in your body to keep you going all day when you're having a busy day as much as i love tommy girl because it also has beautiful uh, flower notes this one you guys this is the mother of all freshies if you haven't tried it i need you to go and try it give it a sniff and it is very safe to blind buy if you want to order it online um anyhow this is the mother of freshies get it i recommend it it lasts a long time it's like a bunch of lemons in your face and this cool breeze just went by and you're just like in heaven. Um, it doesn't smell like a food type of a lemon. It smells like fancy, like sophisticated type of a lemon. I don't know if I can say it that way. Um, so anyhow, I'm getting close to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that. And I want to thank all my returning subscribers for always watching my videos, for making me feel like I'm doing something that I enjoy. And at the same time, I'm um, fortifying myself, my self-esteem. Uh, my energy um, when I'm doing videos for you guys I forget about my problems which everyone has problems right um, and I really enjoy making these videos for all of you um, so that will be it for this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you give some of these perfumes a chance I have a little bit of something in there um, I don't have very expensive perfumes as I tend to stick to perfumes that most people can afford and that will be my, my logo. That will be my mission is to bring to you perfumes that are not too expensive and that you are willing to try out 
even if it's a smaller packages, even if it's a perfume that's, you know, has been released um, a number of years ago, but the price is good, the fragrance is good. You don't need to spend a lot of money um, buying good perfumes. Now this one I bought with the credit card, but this one did not cost me too much since it is a 50 ml. Um, the 100 mils are the more expensive bottles. Um, and most of these perfumes were around the, maybe I'm going to say 35 to a $40 range. And this Marc Jacob was, um, gifted and this one, um, not sure. I forgot how much it was, but this was the priciest one. Um, anyhow, you guys have a wonderful day, night, or whenever you're watching my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.